We're gathered here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Richard and Brianna. This is not the beginning of a new relationship, but an acknowledgement of the next chapter in their lives. Rick and Anna have spent years getting to know each other and now bear witness to what their relationship has become. Today they will affirm this bond formally and publicly. Rick and Anna will mark their transition as a couple, not only by celebrating the love between themselves, but by also celebrating the love between all of us, including the love of their parents, siblings, family, and friends. Without that love, today would be far less joyous. So thank you all for being here. I've often spoken with Rick about how short our lives truly are. How the biggest lie we tell ourselves is that we have time to waste. But this is simply not so. The weeks and months blend together, and it seems that we blink and another year has passed. But in these quickly passing years, people fall into our lives, seemingly at random, who change its trajectory entirely. And Anna's entrance into Rick's was a little too random to not seem faded, even to the most jaded toward the concept of destiny. But I'm sure Rick will have more on the details of that evening later, so I'll leave that part to him. From that meeting, this pair never looked back. It became apparent, and quickly so, how much they cared for one another. When Rick badly injured his leg shortly after, Anna helped him recover every step of the way. He told me on multiple occasions that he probably would have been right back at the hospital had Anna not been there for him during that time when he had only one good leg and that one only partially good. <laughs> but this supportive connection between them from the beginning was a sign of what was to come. They've only been together a few years, but have already lived a lot of life and been through much from becoming homeowners a couple of times and acquiring a pair of the sweetest beagles you'll ever meet, to surviving the war zone that downtown Kansas City turned into after the Chiefs won the Super Bowl, as well as navigating the abandoned urban wasteland that the same downtown turned into as soon as the lockdowns hit. Yet they only seem to enjoy being in one another's presence more as time passes. I say this both as an outside observer and because of what Rick tells me himself. A couple of weeks ago, he said to me, I'd be lost without my Anna. Now, if you know guys, especially guys as self-assured and cocky as Rick, <laughs> you'll know that stating they need anyone that badly is not easily admitted. But Rick said it with a conviction that betrayed the genuine nature of such a confession. And while I haven't exactly spoken to Anna one-on-one -on -one about her feelings toward Rick, I don't need to. I remain convinced that it is one's actions that define who they are and what they believe. 
and Anna's actions toward Rick have never been anything short of dedicated, loving, and in Rick's own words, adoring. As such, I couldn't give my support for the, their union any more strongly. There's a certain excitement I feel from these two. They're excited to get married, to create a brand new family. They're excited to spend their lives together. They're excited to become parents. And they're more than ready to endure the trials of life and celebrate the joys of it together as a united team. So, Rick and Anna, although I give you this advice as a man who has been married about nine months, remember when hard times come, how much you love one another, how much you've built together, and how much more you have yet to create. I implore you to always give up the other the benefit of the doubt, <clears throat> as you know they have your back and your best interests at heart. If your mentality is to always strive to put each other first every day, you have nothing to fear for everything else is just details. It's an honor to preside over this ceremony because I know you're going to have a wonderful marriage. Rick, you're going to be a loving husband and one day a dedicated father. Anna, you're going to be an adoring wife and one day a caring and nurturing mother. And this life may be short, but you found one another and you will have the incredible fortune of spending the rest of your lives by one another's side. And that's what will also make it sweet. Standing here, surrounded by everyone that's been here from the beginning, it only seems right to start there. I remember the first time I saw you, like it was yesterday. You walked in the gym, and the first thing I ever said about my future husband was, <laughs> oh my God, that guy is so hot. If he asked me to marry him right now, I would say yes. <laughs> <laughs> I could have never imagined that the guy that was so, or wait, I think I missed something. Uh, <laughs> I could have never imagined that that guy that was so mesmerizing that he made me drop branch all over Matt and Ryan was the person I'd spend the rest of my life with, <laughs> or that your good looks would just scratch the surface of everything that made me fall in love with you. I knew in that moment you were entirely out of my league, but as I got to know you, that fact became more true. I had never met anyone that could make me laugh like you do or make me feel the peace, love, and security like you can. I look back on those times and I know now that I temporarily lost my mind and my balance because it was the first time I saw and I spoke to my soulmate. That same night at 54th Street when you tried to buy my underage self a drink, <laughs> I couldn't take my eyes off of you. I remember trying to time my eye contact between Matt and Ryan so that it wouldn't seem awkward. <laughs> but even then, I just felt such an unexplainable pull towards you. I grew up hearing this crazy story from my parents. They met and then they got married 10 days later. Um, my mom always said, from the time I met your dad, it was over for everyone else, and I never looked back. And truly, from the moment I laid eyes on you, it was over for everyone else, and I really never looked back. <laughs> You're it for me forever. During times when that's easy, and more importantly, even when it isn't, no matter what life holds for us, I know we'll continue to grow with and for each other. I'll always show you patience and kindness, even on your most high fee of days. I'll always believe in you and your crazy app ideas. <laughs> I'll always listen to you, even if that means hearing what you rather is for the rest of our lives. <laughs> You're my soulmate, my everything, more than I could have ever imagined or dreamt for a, a partner in life. From the bottom of my heart and soul, I believe that we were made for each other. It was easy to fall in love with you and even easier to keep loving you throughout the last four years. And I can't wait to start this next chapter of our lives and keep loving you. Anna, I thought about what I would tell you on this day, the moment I got on one knee and asked you to marry me. At first I had no idea what I wanted to tell you. Then I thought back on the first day that we met and I thought it'd be a good idea to start there. Obviously from a different perspective this time. <laughs> so, we all know that for most, love doesn't just fall in your lap. But our star was quite the contrary. 
because you nearly did fall in my lap the night you were busting tables at 54th Street. Luckily for me, and unlucky for Ryan's shoes, the, <laughs> the stumble that sent the ranch from your hands uh, also brought you back, uh, brought you into my life. I remember to this day, Ryan and Matt both telling, telling me she would not stop looking at you while we were talking. <laughs> and I thought to myself, there's no way a girl like this would, uh, would be interested in some guy like me. But I took the leap of faith and asked you to stay after work so I could buy you a drink to only find out that I've been flirting with a 19-year-old <laughs> who may have just graduated high school the week prior. <laughs> in all seriousness, now, all seriousness no, though, I was not a big believer in fate until we talked about all the events that, have had, that had to have happened for us to have met that night. And we haven't looked back since. Everyone sees me uh, as I say, arrogant, annoying, overbearing, <laughs> and funny guy but not you you're able to see through it all you're able to see through the arrogance as insecurity the annoyance as playful nervous energy the overbearingness as a desperate cry for acceptance and the funny as well just that funny <laughs> most would even go as far as say hilarious <laughs> I've never felt so understood and accepted and loved in my life until we met. You allowed me to be myself with all my quirks and flaws, which in turn let me fall in life, love with life all over again. You're caring, selfless, compassionate, beautiful, thoughtful, smart, and most importantly, you are loving. I wish we had the venue for longer than a few hours so I could shower you with all the praise that you deserve. You really are the most genuine person I've ever had the luck of meeting. And now that I can spend every day of my life with you, it feels like a dream that I never want to wake up from. Like so many other people, I was afraid to grow old. And that was also true for me until I met you. Now I'm so excited for all the things that come with age. Not because I look forward to wearing adult diapers. <laughs> or, or walking with a cane. But because I know when we look back, we're going to be able to reminisce with one another all the special moments we've created with watery eyes and full hearts with our kids and grandkids. I have a few vows I want to speak into existence today that I will carry out with me every day for every day of our lives. I vow to always be young at heart for as long as you're able to tolerate it. I vow to always try and make you laugh at both appropriate and inappropriate times. <laughs> I, I vow to always be here to enjoy the good times and be here to comfort you during the bad times. And most importantly, I vow to love you until my very last breath. I want to say one last thing before we are officially announced as husband and wife for the very first time. You are the love of my life. Everything that I have and everything I am is yours forever. A ring is an unbroken circle with ends that have been joined together and it represents your union. It is a symbol of infinity and of your infinite love. When you look at these rings on your hands, be reminded of this moment and your commitment and the love you have for one another. Best man, would you please bring the, rim, the ring to the groom? Richard, place the ring on Brianna's finger and take her hands. Now, repeat after me. Brianna, I give you this ring. Brianna, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. I pledge to love you today. I pledge to love you today. Tomorrow, always, and forever. Tomorrow, always, and forever. Matron of Honor, please bring the ring to the bride. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, Brianna, place the ring on Richard's finger and take his hands. Now repeat after me. Richard, I give you this ring. Richard, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. With the pledge. With the pledge. To love you today. To love you today. Tomorrow, always and forever. Tomorrow, always and forever. For these witnesses, you pledge to be joined in marriage. 
you've now sealed this pledge with your wedding rings. Rick, you may kiss the bride. Woo! Woo! Okay. I love you. I love you. That's all good. You cold? No. I love you. I love you. It's all good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh, it is my joy and privilege to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Bailey. <laughs> <laughs>